I've been a great fan of hiring people who brought in experience. It eliminates the need to train them. It brings more speed to the system in the sense that, you know, you get somebody, they hit the road running. So it's easy to hire people who bring in experience. But is that so? Think of it when you hire senior people, how long they take to produce. You know, I remember my own time when I was hired in senior leadership positions, how long I took to hit the ground. First, I get into an organization, I need to understand my team. So I spend time meeting them one to one, collectives, we go off sites and understand people, then we realize there are gaps. So we hire senior people and mostly we bring people whom we know. And that takes time while you're hiring senior people. Then you again do a strategy brainstorming with a new team, uh, meet a few customers, let's say, understand what's, what, what has to be fixed. And then you go and present a strategy to your bosses, board as applicable in where you are in the hierarchy. And then you come to a plan. Maybe by then it takes three months. Then you start rolling it out. Maybe another three months. So about three to six months for any senior leader whom you hire, it would take to sort of for them to hit the ground running or even to produce any semblance of what you can call as results. Now, let's pause it there and look at the other side of the story. That means if you hire freshers, of course, for a different job, you don't hire a fresher for a CEO is what I'm presuming. And when you hire freshers and you start evaluating them, of course, you need to train them. Uh, you need to provide the tools, uh, processes, and alignments required with people that's required for them to uh, be specific to the role that you hired them, the industry that you hired them for, and specific to your company culture, what all they need to align to. And after that, let's say they go through that period, you call them interns, whatever, and they get trained, maybe it takes three months. And in that period, we all get judgmental as to what they're doing, how they're doing, what they've learned, not learned, coming late, behavioral issues, attitude, uh, not learning the job quick enough. Maybe they take three months, the six months, the best guys produce in three months, maybe some of them in two months, do whatever the job is. Or at least you know there is a, the curve that is showing, you know, green for you and you say, okay, we have hired the right people. Net-net, in my view, it possibly takes about three months to six months for you to judge whether a fresher is up to the job or not, right? Similar time it takes for a senior leader also to assimilate and get onto the act. But because they're senior leaders, we possibly give them more cushion, more time uh, to, you know, get a judgment that whether they're in the right path or they're doing well. At least to get to a phase whether you even hire the right person. But we don't give the same time to people whom we have hired fresh from college. We judge them too fast, fail them in a month or two, and then they also know, and today's, uh, you know, youngsters are smart and fast enough to know that you know we don't like them and we possibly part ways so today's reflection is isn't the time taken for assimilation and production for senior leaders same if not lesser compared to people who are freshers who possibly can give the raw energy and uh, uh, possibly new ideas and lesser baggages why can't we give the same amount of time to freshers as well as we give it to senior leaders if you're on the same page, let me know what you think. If you aren't, I'd still like to hear your views.